what is up youtube welcome back to my channel at nigel cortez today's video as you guys can see i am going to be showing you guys how i make my own press on nails um this is a highly requested video uh just because i always have uh nails on and no one is able to tell if it's acrylic or not but everyone could relate that's going through this stupid ass quarantine most of these places have not been open i mean we're pretty much back open now but i'm even to the point where i've become so equipped to just doing my own shit that i'd rather not go spend money for disappointment so if you guys want to see how i finished my nails keep on watching so i want to keep this video um straight to the point so i kind of already placed uh nails on my uh fingers and then i'll just show on one of my bare nails exactly like the whole process it's not rocket science y'all uh a baby could do this so i'll just give you guys like a quick example of um how i'm how i prep my nail and then uh, we can get right into the video. So I'm just gonna glue a little more onto this. All right, so the first thing that I did, I used this little tool. Um, I know everyone's familiar with this tool. If you don't have one at home, it is okay. Whatever is like good enough for you to just push your cuticles back rather it's even you just kind of shoving it with your finger just get a good like pushback because i like to place the nail kind of like under my cuticle line so the nail will kind of low-key be under your skin i mean if you guys are afraid of that you don't have to do that but that's just what i do for extra security so step one is literally just pushing the cuticle back like every angle i really need a manicure so y'all don't judge but um, then after I do this, I buff each and every nail. So every nail is buffed before I put the glue. I feel like you get a better latch on when you buff the, um, when you buff your nail before you put, put the glue on it. You get a um, longer lasting nail and yeah, you, you just pop with your press on. Cause when I tell y'all these nails are really, they feel like acrylic. People really do not believe it when I'm like, these are press on nails, girl. And they look and they already come shaped we know us ladies sometimes our nail girls don't be getting our shape right come on y'all y'all vouch with me i love them but they don't always do it right you know so this is already coming shaped for you and it's literally a press on and a go the only thing that takes this a little more time is because i use gel so i have my gel colors here i have uh the base coat and then i have my top coat and then i have the color and then i also have my uh led light that i use i'll also link that down below this is literally like the best 30 dollars i've ever spent in my life um i was having trouble finding a really good led light on uh amazon and i thought all hope was lost because there was one that i had bought at one particular time and when i tell y'all that thing didn't dry shit it did not dry anything like it was awful and yeah it just felt like my money just went down the fucking drain so oh i'm inching it i got one more nail to put on y'all and i'm low-key running out of glue see the things i do for my videos y'all <laughs> nah shit i thought i had more glue that was a bad call for me okay so that don't fit <laughs> this one might fit okay there we go and then what you guys need to do is make sure you keep super glue on deck like whatever purse you're carrying if it's in your pocket girl just keep it because you never know your day-to-day -day activities you take a chance of it popping off but as far as like holding all right you guys so i got all the nails on i was able to squeeze literally the last inch of glue out to get this nail placed on but um i don't know if you guys you guys see that little uh peeling thing at the at the bottom most of the nails come like that now what we're gonna do we're just gonna uh file that off and it's literally just like a slight file uh don't get ahead of yourself because if you're not just like a nail guru i'm not so i don't i try not to file so much because the deeper you get into filing, you're damn near like reshaping the nail. And nine times out of 10 for my beginners like me, you gonna end up having lopsided ass fingernails. Like, 
and you don't want that so after you take that little uh pointy part off you're just gonna buff uh all of the nails so i'm just gonna buff every last one of the nails and it's not even like no crazy like buffing you just kind of like have to give it like that small like ash like so you see how this is like shiny and then this is just you know the ashiness you're looking for that's what you need so that's just showing you you you, you buffed it enough that's gonna help the polish latch on a lot better um in my case you guys don't be like me i actually have to order another uh base coat uh, i just <laughs> off camera i had looked uh inside of the thing and i was trying to like get some of it out but i don't have it a lot uh i recommend this uh beetles brand pop in and then it's base gel this shit has the gel like sticking for forever um because i i you know what i used to have a problem with the gel sticking that i would get from the nail shop but now that i'm thinking about it i'm like they don't really pay attention y'all they don't really use base coats some of them like like shit most of them don't use the base gel coat they really don't when they they clean your nails up they say go wash your hands you go wash your fucking hands and then you sit down and they get to getting that color up on there so yeah the base coat does make a world of difference but because i'm just doing this for the video i don't really care if they last or not um i have a real appointment coming up in about a week for my birthday so i'm really not tripping but for you guys i'm gonna just thug it today okay i also have these little gel colors that came from beetles uh if i'll link this one down below that has this particular color in it but it's the container that has like all of like the nudes and neutrals i don't know if you guys are like into those but if you are sis this is the way to go this is the one that i have to link for y'all so y'all can get with it so now what we are going to do we are going to just polish and i don't know what's been up with me you guys i've just been on this kick of like brown on brown like Look at this brown color against my brown skin. <laughs> Don't even play, y'all. Y'all know this is a hit. Look at that. That's cracking. Yes. And I was going to just add a little bit of color just to, you know, spice it up. But then I would have had a 40-minute video and y'all would have been tired of me at that point. So, yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and uh, speed up this process of the video. Because, I mean, I'm not like the world's most professional polisher so i don't think y'all need to really just see all of this so i'll be right back all right you guys so i've already did the um first coat i think i'm only going to do two coats on this because this color is pretty pigmented and i don't need to like just do like hella colors on it i mean hella layers on it so i painted and then i locked with the led light so i'm gonna go ahead again and uh do another coat lock in with the led light and then we're gonna go ahead and secure with the base with not the base the top coat and then we're done you guys please y'all get into this okay because just you have to you have to we have to be self-sufficient and we have to know how to do all these things because we got a, a fucking taste of how things that we take for granted or things that we never thought we would have to learn we are now having to learn them you know most people oh i don't want to do my fucking hair that's why i have a beautician but maybe that beautician shop has been shut down through through covid and you kind of gotta thug it out and do your own hair so we gotta know how to do all this and i ain't even gonna lie most women do not learn any type of fundamental of doing nails we don't we don't even know like the basics like those store-bought press-ons are fucking trash compared to these you guys like this is literally like a full set this is really like a real ass legit full set and then i'm gonna do a test run for you guys i'm gonna end up like tapping my nails onto a hard surface once all this polish is done so you guys can see like the stability within this nail um, I don't know if you guys watched my last video, but I had like this like blue color 
I was getting so many compliments off that color. A few girls in uh, Food for Less had asked me, where did I get my nails done? And I'm like, sis, in my bathroom. Like, get into it, okay? So now that this second coat is done, I'm gonna secure this and then I'm gonna go ahead with the, go in with the top coat. And then that'll be the end of the video. I'll probably do this hand off camera just because the polishing part of, of the, like the video is kind of boring. But I just wanted to shine light for my sisters out there. My good sis, you guys need to get into these press ons because once you do it, you never go back. OK. All right. So y'all look at that. Look at how just like popping that is, you guys. And then look at that brown against my brown like. Okay, now we're going to take the top coat. Excuse my stuck press on on it. This is kind of messy. I need to clean this up. But now we're just going to do one layer of the top coat. And no exception, you need to let this secure for 60 seconds. No, no exception. Like, hands down. Because this is like what's going to really harden out the nail now. Sometimes I kind of like, oh, overdo it and fucking do it for 120 seconds. <laughs> do that shit twice. But that's how you know it's walking in. Because that is like literally the most annoying feeling in the world to get a fresh gel polish and then you see that shit peeling. That's frustrating. And really all that means is either they're not using the base coat or they're not letting you sit under uh, long enough. finishing it off and then I will be back with the ending of the video y'all so stay tuned all right you guys so I went ahead and finished the other hand look at how this came out literally a nail set nail set done under 30 fucking minutes like when I say that it's time for us to start investing in things that we never thought we would invest in it's good to have because you turn around and you're able to put it to good use when a pandemic strikes out. Like, I know you guys are with me. I was going through hell not being able to get my nails done. And I said, you know what? Let me figure something out to where I don't feel like I need the nail ladies or I need this. Like, I'm just gonna figure out this shit and figure out how to pop on my own. Like, look at this. The test I promised y'all I was gonna do. Like, look at this. None of these are popping off. Like, they're on here so strong, it doesn't even make any sense. And uh, lastly, what you want to do, you want to just secure with any type of oil, you guys. Just, you know, put it on your cuticle. Um, they do have these uh, beautiful, like, cuticle oils on uh, Amazon. You know, like the ones the nail shop have that have, like, the little flowers in the little uh, container. I really like those, and they smell really good. Um, if you guys could find honeysuckle, do that. I'm going to actually try to find that on Amazon and link it down below for y'all. But honeysuckle is, like, the best cuticle, like, smell smelling oil that you could get so look at just how like fresh that makes your nails look it looked like you got a fresh manicure the nails i'm gonna link that too the nails were under ten dollars and then the led light was a little more on the up upside but it was like 35 dollars. but it comes with like uh it comes with one of those silver the silver tool i showed you guys some nail files and it comes with uh quite a few nail polish so that's also an investment you guys this nail set can be done before a dinner party a birthday party uh a date whatever like it could be done and you're not losing any time so if you guys want to see more of these type of videos like with my nails i want to do more because i like playing with the colors and yeah it just excites me to excite y'all okay so oh my god girl look who, look at your ring where'd you get that uh you know that's what you're gonna get oh my god who did your nails <laughs> me bitch <laughs> that's what you want to be you know that that feeling is the best feeling in the world when you're able to tell somebody you did some shit yourself you diy it okay so thank you guys so much for watching like share comment and subscribe and until then i will be back with more videos peace